Hey everyone, Anthony here, and welcome to my first list style video. Five simple, easy tips for making better videos in Filmora 9. I use these tips whenever I edit in Filmora, and I found that they consistently result in better, more professional looking videos. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Tip number one would be to start by alleviating the playback lag, because you can't really use any of these other tips unless you can actually use Filmora. The lag has been a pretty big problem for a lot of people lately, especially with the removal of the render button in the latest version. So what you're going to want to do is start by clicking File in the upper left hand corner, then click on Preferences. Go to the Performance tab and under Proxy make sure that it's set to 1280x720. Filmora 9 is supposed to automatically generate proxies to make your footage playback smoothly, and this speeds up the process quite a bit. After adding in your footage, be sure to give Filmora a few moments to generate all of the proxies, and then the playback lag should be gone in no time, at least it was for me. Like I said, the lag has been a pretty big issue for a lot of people lately, including myself, but once I found this trick, the problem was pretty much solved. When you first drag transitions into your project, they last about a second, I think, but believe it or not, that's actually a little too long. Keep the transitions short, half a second or less is good. We are not watching the video for the transitions. You also don't need to use transitions between every single shot. I've seen it before, it just doesn't really work. In order to shorten the transitions, you just click on the edge and drag your mouse inwards. So super quick and easy. All of the text templates are pretty good on their own, but they're meant to be customized, and you'll want to use the advanced text window for this. Switch up the animations, change up the colors, obviously don't go way too over the top, but adding a personal touch to these templates will help make your video feel more unique. The advanced text window isn't your only option. For the title template that I've been using for this video, I was actually able to switch up the colors using, who would have guessed? the regular old color panel. All I did was click here, go to the color tab, and play around with the tint and temperature sliders. The standard color for this template is purple, but the other colors look great as well, and it's always good to mix things up. Learn how to make your audio fade in and out using audio keyframes. Now, I do have a dedicated tutorial for this, feel free to watch it. What you're going to want to do is click on your audio track and head over here. Click on this dot and you'll see that it adds a keyframe right where your playhead is. Add in a few more, adjust the volume between them, and you've got a nice fade in and out between volume levels. Once you've got the keyframes on your audio track, feel free to move them around and just experiment with the length of the fades. This trick is especially helpful in toning down your music for your dialogue before amping it up for your b-roll. As a general rule, and this applies to pretty much every video editor, not just Filmora, but subtle is better. Go easy on the filters, especially the Instagram style ones. Tying into tip number four, tone down your music during the dialogue. You also don't need to use the craziest title animations every single time you want to add a simple on-screen note. A quick fade in and fade out of the text is a lot better and a lot less distracting. Of course, Every project is different, sometimes over the top may be just what it needs. Again, this is a general rule, but subtle, well-applied effects really do play out well in my opinion. So that was 5 tips for editing in Filmora 9, all of which I found to be very useful and result in better, more professional looking videos. There's a fly. Let me know in the comments if you have any other Filmora 9 tips that you'd like to add, and I will pin whichever one happens to be my favorite. That's it for me for now. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. Don't forget to comment. Subscribe. Goodbye.